I don't know about you, but I like never mess around with pet genetics in The Sims 4. And what I mean by that is I never have my dogs have puppies. I don't think I've ever had kittens in The Sims 4. I don't even really make pets in cast all that often. Whenever my Sims have pets, I usually adopt them in game, like where you pick from the menu like a couple pets to come meet and then you can pick them. And I usually pick like the scariest looking one and then just have that pet. I'm not really so focused on like my Sims having a certain breed of dog or whatever, so I just don't really bother with it. But the thing is, the creative sim tools for pets are so cool. I mean, we have like a million breeds of dog and stuff like that, but you can also completely customize like their coat, all the colors can be customized, and you can even literally paint on them as much as you want. Like the whole cast system for pets is honestly almost better than the cast system for Sims, which is saying something. So this has kind of given me an idea, all right? And it's a little bit dumb, so hear me out. What happens to pets in The Sims after 10 generations? I did this once with human Sims, like this sort of experiment to see what happens to The Sims after you play through 10 whole generations, but I've never tried it with pets. Basically, I want to see like what traits can we get to continue on through all the generations, and honestly, just what happens when you keep breeding random pets together in The Sims, because I don't really do that. Oh my god, that looks horrible. What have I done to this poor dog? You know what? I need to delete you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but real quick, I want to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Secret Cat Forest. This game is so cute, okay? Look at this. There are two cats in my house. Basically, Secret Cat Forest is a really, really chill, relaxing, adorable mobile game. It's really easy to play. You basically just collect fish and wood for your cats. And then throughout the day, different cats will show up and visit you and you can try and build relationships with them. The game's in real time, so the idea is that you pop in from time to time and like see who's visiting. There are dozens of adorable cats. There are super cute animations. The whole game is beautiful. And I just love a good cozy relaxing game like this and the first 200 of you that download the game and enter the code Lil Simsy are gonna get 2,000 wood and four cans of fish in game. You're welcome for the head start. Seriously this game is so cute and I think you're gonna love it so I'll have a link down below to download it and thanks again to Secret Cat Forest for sponsoring this video. Okay so here's my plan. I say we start off with the first pet being like the most dog looking dog you can imagine. Like a lab or something right? Like just the most standard dog dog. I don't know if the random colors like pass down generations though and then for the other dog, oh my. <laughs> For the other dog, I'm just gonna randomize it a couple times. I want one that has like a sort of interesting coat, maybe even like a Dalmatian. And then I wanna change that coat to be like a kind of funky color, like pink or something. Cause what I wanna see is how these traits pass down. Cause I don't even know if the pink will pass down at all. I, I really have no idea how that works. So I'm kind of curious to find out. That's a kind of scary looking dog. I won't lie to you. Okay, <laughs> well, then the idea is that we would randomize their puppy and then have that puppy do it again, right? I'm gonna randomize three times and just take what it gives me. One. Oh my. Wow. Two. Okay. Three. Now where did that come from? You see, this is what I, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you got the eye color and a little bit of shape from the pink dog, but you look nothing like either of those parents. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. Fine. Fine. We already lost the pink, so that's good. Maybe I'll throw in like a Roddy this time, but I'll make the Roddy have pink. I want the pink back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna breed these two together then. To get our gen three dog ready. One, two, three. <gasps> pink! Oh, you look, wow, a lot like the... <laughs> See, it's so different. This is the thing. The genetics make no sense. When you have like a litter of puppies in The Sims, you'll get three dogs that look like that different from each other. Okay, so here was the next parent and then here is the next baby. It looks a lot like the Roddy, but it has kind of a thinner face. I'm just gonna get a random dog this time. I'm not gonna like pick it. I'll just take what it gives me. So we'll have this one and I'll have them have babies and see what happens. Oh my God, there's so many random dogs. The puppies are so cute. Okay, we randomized three times. Ready? One. That looks the same. You see? that's like identical to the parent. Are you kidding? One, two. Ooh, that one's interesting. And three, the dog we get is... Oh. <laughs> Why is its neck so long? Look at it when it sits down. And it has a really big face. That's the that's the Roddy in it. Okay, I'm can I delete Stanley? Does it let me? Oh, I can. What if we threw a small dog into the mix? How does that impact things? This one looks really similar to the Gen 4 dog though. So I'm curious like how that's going to impact what happens. Oh my god, the puppies are so cute, but you see like they get this random coloring. Comes out of nowhere. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them like randomly turned blue or something. Okay, ready? We randomized 3 times. 1, 2, 3. That's that's the same. That is the same as the Gen 4 dog. Wait a minute. It's literally the exact same. I'm, do you even spot the difference? Oh, it's okay. It's nose is a little bit smaller. Their faces are a little bit different. Huh. But the coloring is like exactly the same. Huh. Okay. Curious. Very curious. All right. How about a poodle this time? Because the poodle is also pink and I'm trying to bring it back. I'm curious if the pink like actually would translate to, oh my God. <laughs> Oh no. All 
sorry, please don't give me anything like that. I was gonna say, I'm curious if the pink would actually like go down through the generations, but we'll see. Ready? We randomized three times. One, two, and our final dog is three. Pink! I actually really like you. <laughs> This one's cool. I'm glad we got the pink back. And do you know what? This one kind of looks like the original Sim. Eh, not that much, but like kind of shape-wise a little. I was hoping we could get some poodle in us, but that's all right. I'll get over it. What is that? <laughs> That was kind of scary. Should I just breed with this one? It's like a husky mix or something, but it's not a breed. It's a mixed breed. Oh, the puppies are so cute. I could cry. All right, all right, all right. Let's breed with Gen 6. Let's see what we got. All right. One. That looks the same. Two. Oh, that one's cute. And three. That's like the same thing, but smaller. <laughs> I really like this one, actually. That is a really cute dog. No offense, but you're a lot cuter than your parent was. <laughs> All right, my household is getting kind of full, so I'm gonna save these. Oh, wow. That is quite the family. I'm gonna just save these to my library so I don't lose them, and then I'm gonna delete a couple. I might delete a couple of the, like, middle ones, because I want to compare, like, the original generations to the later ones. Ooh, what are you? Let's do a small dog again. What if we got, like, one of these? Because that one has a really, really distinct face shape. I'm curious how that would breed into my family. Oh my god. I know I keep saying it, but the puppies are so cute. See, this doesn't look anything like either of them. Genetics are so weird in this game. Look at how small its little head is. What the heck? Okay, well, let's just keep randomizing. One, still tiny head. Two, three. Blah. You're the same. You're literally the same as the other parent. How? It's like the Bull Terrier wasn't even involved. Here's the Gen 7 dog. Here's the Gen 8 dog. Obviously, like, they have a different fur and everything, but they're so similar. Oh my gosh. Okay. What is that? Oh, okay. We. This is what I was hoping I would get. <laughs> it's dogs like this. Maybe I'll breed this one with my dog. The cast is lagging. It's scary. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, look at this. That one. Why can't I get stuff like that? Oh my god. That's how it looks when it's older. That's how that puppy looks older. Yeesh. Okay, let's randomize. One. I don't want something like that. Give me something funner. Two. Better. And three. What do we got? <laughs> Give me the fun stuff. I'm trying to get the fun traits. All three of these dogs look the same. That's the Gen 9 dog. <sighs> okay, this is our last shot. I might pick something like this Australian Shepherd or maybe the Corgi. Here's what I want. I like the spots. I want like some more color in the fur. What if we did something like this? What if we use this one as, as the final partner? It won't make a difference. I mean, the dog's not going to look like this. Why is it lagging so much? much. Oh, look at it. It's a puppy. Okay, come on. This is the 10th generation. Give me something I can work with. One, two. Oh, all right. And three. You know what? That's different. <laughs> I really appreciate that. That is what happens to pets after 10 generations. Oh my god. The way we got like three of the same dog in a row as well. So weird. I mean, this one is so similar to the Gen 8 one. It's just like a really slight variation in their head shape and their, their nose, I guess. Their eyes are different too. But then you come back to number 10 and it looks like this compared to the number one dog, the dog dog, who <laughs> looks like that. Can you believe this one is descended from this lab? Okay, I realize this experiment is dumb and makes absolutely no sense. I'm just really curious about this kind of thing. The same kind of goes for the sims, like the human sims. It doesn't really like blend their genetics together. You won't get like a mix per se. A lot of times what you'll get is like, oh, mom's fur color, but dad's nose shape. And it just puts like a, a mishmash together. So for example, with this one, I, don't, I honestly don't know where the head shape came from. <laughs> <laughs> we got like this weird head shape, but like the wacky coat and then the the smoother fur texture that this one has You know, and then it kind of just mixes them together and then honestly probably just mixes some random I mean, it looks like I've got a rat tail literally like a rat's tail. This is not a dog It looks like a rat and I I say that with love. This is not normal <laughs> You know, I'd put a picture of a rat on the screen But I don't know if I should do that because it's kind of gross. Just take my word for it. Okay. This looks like a rat Oh, no, wait, this is fine. Hang on. Look 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 rat. I'm telling you it is the exact <laughs> Exactly same thing. I feel like we'd probably have a similar result if we did it with cats. I did it with dogs first because I thought it would be more interesting to have like the more variation in size because obviously all the cats are pretty much the same size. They do have way different fur though, but the cats are all small, whereas the dogs can be like, you know, giant or a little tiny weeny dog. So, ew. <laughs> Stop. We start with like the most cat looking cat, like a brown tabby. I have a brown tabby cat. Mine has white paws though. I love that you can paint them. It's so much fun. And it like automatically mirrors, but you can turn off the mirroring. Oops. So say like your cat only has one white paw, you can paint it that way. Isn't that so fun? I really should work on this more. I should like mess with the, the pets create a sim tools more because I don't give it enough credit. I'm just not good enough. Like I don't know how to 
do it and make it look realistic. It's frozen. Oh my god, that was scary. I wonder if we tried to breed like a big floofy orange cat with that one, because those two look very different. You see, this one has the same coloring as the floofy cat, but it's got the same fur texture as the brown cat. This one is the opposite, <laughs> where we, we put like the brown on the floofy cat, and that one just changed its ears. That's more of a middle ground. See, that's better, I feel like. That's more what I was looking for when it came to the randomizing. And that one is just the same thing as the first cat with different eyes, like, oh, I don't know. Genetics in The Sims is very, very interesting. This video was very fun for me to record. I like just messing around in casts sometimes. I don't do it very often, and I especially don't do it with cats. Like, when do you ever mess- I mean, maybe you do. I just don't. When do you ever mess around with this stuff? I, there's so many fun things for pets in this game that I just don't bother doing, and it lets me paint on them. Why don't I use this tool more? Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Anyway, with that being said, I'm probably gonna go. Make sure you check out the one that I did about human sims and like their genetics. I can link that for you. If you want to download Secret Cat for us, I've got a link down below. And the first 200 people to download the game and use the code Lil Simsy will get a bunch of resources in game. All right, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching, and um, I'll catch you all tomorrow. I am just gonna sit here and keep painting this cat, by the way. This is kind of fun. I'm curious, in the comments, could you tell me if you actually use the custom tools for pets? Like, do you ever use the paint tool? I'm sure a lot of you do, but like, does the average player ever like delve into this at all? I'm not sure, because I certainly don't.